Uh, Malador. Uh, did I say 11 bucks? Thank you, Malador. Thank you. I say Bonanta. Uh, chop me up. Uh, I just wanted to share with Ben that I won the October UK Nationals in Armada. Oh, uh, congratulations. Getting my flights and hotel paid to go to Adepticon in Chicago mm -hmm. uh, to play in the World Championships. Wow. Uh, any fantastic stories from tournaments to share? Ooh, wow. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. Congratulations. I did the same thing a few years back. Um, it's pretty cool. Class, you're just copying Ben now, Malador. I did it before. It was cool. Uh, <laughs> so. Copying Ben. Um, oh, fantastic stories. I don't know. And, I mean, it, to most people, it's just going to sound like, and then I rolled a six. And then I rolled a six. <laughs> it's really hard to make a to make a battle sound cool to someone who doesn't care about the game. Um, <laughs> let's, well, let's be clear. It wasn't cool then either. <laughs> I think that's very true. It's very true. It's very true. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of like anything ridiculous. Like I've seen people like have tantrums before, but not like an Armada tournament. That's not like why am I tournament? Fuck! Did you hear about? Oh, there was a good story of people having tantrums at uh, this about. I think it was about a week ago. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, hit me. A 40k tournament. Mm -hmm. Big tournament. It's about a rules interpretation. Right. And they couldn't resolve it. I did hear about this. The artillery crew. Yeah. So apparently these two players were like both um, YouTubers or something. They were like, you know, media type profile people. And they both had like a grudge against each other. And neither of them would let it go. And they couldn't come to an agreement on how to run the rule. And so they both ended up losing. Yeah. Because the judge was just like, fuck you guys. Yeah, so they both walked away from the table. Um, but I think... Um, so the way, the way that it was working was you have a, an artillery piece. Um, and yeah. They're in, quite rare in 40k, but like the orcs have them and Eldar have them, right? Yeah. Um, um, just like orc big guns. Uh, is this what it was? Yeah. Is that an orc one? Uh, so, for example, this. Yeah. Um, the crew boop, boop. have a weird rule where they're not, they don't count as models. You can't attack them or wound them. They don't have a stat profile or anything. But also, they do count as models. They have a, just a wacky rules interaction. It's yeah. like a leftover thing that they're kind of just there for fluff purposes. Because they look fun. But they don't actually do anything. Yeah. But you are able to put them in front of your gun, mm -hmm. and so people were unable to charge your guns. Uh, because you can't end your move within one inch of an enemy a model, model. Yep. that you're not in close combat with, and you can't get into close combat with it, and you can't charge them in close combat. So they're like this weird like insulation bubble wrap, because you're not allowed to attack the crew because they don't exist. But you're also not allowed to move through the crew because they're models. So uh, people say, like, shouldn't the uh, tournament organizer of decided one way uh probably but i think this is one of those things that it hasn't had an faq yeah there's no official way to and deal with this it is like a like a sticking point um so the guy with the guns was just using the crew to make them unchargeable and the other guy obviously wanted to charge them and kill them and it turned into a they got both got so petty and uptight about it that they both of them lost because they both walked away from the table after. Yeah, so I think they both ended up deciding just to leave. Um, Rather than one of them letting, like, just or rolling a dice because that feels like a four plus thing. Yeah, if ever the, there was that's one. exactly it. Would just be like roll the dice, do on a four plus um, or odds and evens, however you want to do it, mm. um, and let's just keep fucking going. Uh, but if they hate each other and neither wants to give in. <laughs> and now they're known as two massively petty tournament people. Two big babies. <laughs> two big babies. Um, I think both of them could have won the tournament. They were both like, had yeah. enough points that if they won that game, they'd go into the final or something like that. That's how I heard it. But yeah, I think because they, they did not submit their results, they both, it counted as both of them having a loss. Because mm. um, if you just don't submit, then it's a lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeez. But it is an archaic leftover rule. How's uh, that not come up before? How's that not covered in the rules? Like, just give the thing a stat line 
for the whole thing, and it's just if you attack any part of the model, you're, you're attacking the model itself. Do you know what I mean? Like you just make it one thing. Yeah. Rules-wise, in in total, you don't make it this weird half well, and half. So something that I do want them to do, uh, I would would really like for new 40k, and mm -hmm. I know this would upset a lot of people. And I think if they announced it, I'd probably be upset at first. But it would make a cleaner game. Is I would want far more rigid and defined mm -hmm. base sizes. Yeah. For everything in the game. Like these things, they should be on a base. If you're going to put crew on it, great. Yeah. Do it. If you don't want to, mm -hmm. whatever. You shouldn't have these things floating around. Yeah. I mean, that's one good thing about um, Kings of War, which strictly defines exactly how big every unit's base is, but it's a base for the unit. Yeah. So you're like, okay, here's a horde of goblins. It's on a hundred by 200 Perfect, square. Yeah. You can, as long as you've got like a, a square or whatever the shape is on the table, you can stick whatever you want on that. Base. Yeah, you exactly. can have a whole bunch of goblins crawling out of a cave. You can just have normal models ranked up. You can do a big diorama of a troll smashing through the unit or something. Yeah, yeah, Great. Um, and but then there's no arguments at all. You can put whatever models you want on it as it fits the footprint. Job done. I think I want that kind of kind of designed, um, like just yeah. A bit better, because like, you get weird stuff with like different vehicles, especially. Yeah, some vehicles you measure to the hull. Sometimes you don't. Some things have a base. Some things don't. Yeah. Um, um, like I, I don't think the orc buggies should have bases because nothing else that size or shape. Like you don't put rhinos on bases. You don't put like a Primaris go karts on bases. Yeah, that's weird. But then the um, the gene stealer one is on a base. The gene stealer ones do have bases. It. And it massively changes how like things kind of interact, mm. um, and I think this is just a prime example of like one of the issues that you can run into yeah. um, when there's just these like band aid rules slapped just all over this mm. big leaking leaking hull. And well, there was one I forget it now, but there was a I remember before the current Gene Stealer Cult Codex came out when they were still running on the eighth edition one, you could pull some fucking bonkers shenanigans with familiars. Oh, yeah. Because familiars were also models, but not models. They didn't have a stat line, but they, so you could do this weird limbo rules that was like super exploitative with them. Yeah. I, I can't remember, remember the details. Um, yeah, they just should cut all that crap out. Yeah. Actually, speaking of tournaments, my favorite tournament. We've talked about it before, but there might be some people here who haven't heard it. Do you remember the, the winning in the deployment phase oh, game? Oh, that's like the classic. This is my favorite. There was this White Scars player. The, just the picture. The picture just... White Scars. Tells the story. Through, um, tournament. I think if you just search yeah. that, it will come up with the image immediately. So there was this White Scars guy who... This guy here, who was like a uh, ETC champion, like high-end serious tournament player with his... Um, with his army there, ready to go, all bikes. And his plan was to not deploy anything, and then on turn two of the game, drive everything on from a table edge and annihilate the enemy in a big alpha strike. Yeah. Um, then you got this guy, who turned up with his shit crew army to play some tournaments for a laugh, and he was like, oh, are you not deploying anything on the table? Well, my entire army has this rule that says I could go anywhere I want as long as I'm not within 12 inches of you. Yeah. But since you're not on the table, I can just go wherever I want. And so he deployed his entire army along in a big long line. Um, and now the white scars aren't allowed onto the table because you can't charge from off board. You have to drive on first and then charge. Yeah. And so before the game's even started, he's got a big shit eating grin on his face while uh, everyone frantically just, looks through the room. That picture just tells the story so fucking well. Just his big grin, this guy <laughs> looking sad at rules, the tournament organizer like, oh, I think you're fucked, mate. But, <laughs> He's like, no, check again, check we, again. We will look, but oh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you're fucked up. If you had to put one bike yeah. on the table. He just dropped one of these models on the table. He could have made himself a little corridor to, to drive well, yeah, on from. They wouldn't have been able to deploy <laughs> near it, and then he could have come in. Um, but... Uh. Oh. And I love the fact that he, he didn't think about it. Like, because Crew are such a weird off-brand army, he didn't think for a second that, like, hang on, I need to put something on the table. Yeah. If he'd put a single model on the table, he'd have won that game hands down. But, but he didn't. <laughs> just fucked up. Yeah, I guess if you're just used to, like, just stomping people with this, like, big Alpha Strike army. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Feels bad. 
Uh, so we're going to have to go on a quick break, um, but we'll be back very soon. Um, stay tuned. We'll be doing some more war hammies. Um, well, how play explaining how he won the game in the deployment phase. <laughs> <laughs> White Scars player. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great picture. Um, very good. <laughs>